on the set on HBO Max episodes one through four. What's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice back with another video, back with another review. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into Quiet on the Set, baby. I be all over the place. I'm loud. If you're new here, here we go. Drake Bell, baby. I felt so bad for his daddy. I mean, I feel bad for him too. But oh, that broke my heart with his daddy because that daddy knew that Brian the Pickle Man or whatever they called him was a weirdo and he wanted him away from his son and he was trying to protect his son. But see, what they do is manipulate these kids. He got into Drake's head telling him that, you know, your daddy shouldn't be your manager. Most of these people's parents are their manager, especially when their child stars. What do you mean? And talking about his daddy was stealing his money. Baby, that pickle man got into that boy's head so that boy be could become his victim. Oh my God, that was so heartbreaking. But weirdo, weirdo. And for all them people to write a letter, Alan Thick. uh-uh. <laughs> no, you ain't writing a letter from the grave. I know that was years ago. So he was, he, he R.I.P., I don't know if I want to say R.I.P. because you were supporting a person that wasn't right. It was doing kids wrong. You don't want to take him to Disneyland, want to take him to his stuff, quit living with his daddy, start living with his mama. But then his mama was too lazy to do what she was supposed to be doing, which was taking her son to everywhere he needed to go because you was living off of his money. Let's keep it real. And then you ended up, he ended up getting... Okay, we ain't gonna say the word, but y'all know what I mean, by this creepy man that is friends with the, what is his name, John Wayne Casey, writing letters and being his pen pal, and sh you gonna got a painting from him? Are you serious? You let your son walk into that trap and said he woke up and the man was doing things. Baby, I said, oh no. He's like, I don't know how to describe it. Just know they was terrible. I said, Oh, hell no. See, the 90s and the late 80s was something kind of different. Why were y'all not doing background checks, Nickelodeon? That got me looking at Nickelodeon different, okay? Why are you not doing background checks on these people? Why was he around children? He should have, well, I guess he wasn't, he wasn't that until after this incident. But he thought that that boy was his boyfriend. That is somebody's damn child that you're touching on. He was all around all them kids, all them young boys. Did you see Leo Di DiCaprio? I said, uh-uh. No, you didn't. Not trying to touch our Romeo. Your, and he was just rubbing on his elbow. I said, oh, he creepy. I don't understand why you want to mess with children when you could go get you a grown man that's willing to do what you need him to do. For real. Like, I feel so bad for Drake and his daddy, okay? Because that was, my jaw was on the floor. And why did I want to fight his mama? Why even take him on if you wasn't going to do what the daddy had been doing since the boy was like five years old? Because he's been acting all that since he was five. His daddy was the one that was in the trenches with him, making sure everything was okay. And he knew Brian, aka the pickle weirdo, was not right. And he sensed that something was wrong. See, that's why you always got to trust that gut instinct that tells you that. But he wanted to respect Drake. So he just let it go because they was fighting him. And then this dude supposedly became his manager, all this stuff. It was so bad that this dude thought on Drake and Josh that he was going to play his daddy. Are you kidding me? After you're doing what you're doing to him, do you think he likes it? Did you think he enjoyed it? Like, what? I am blown away. What really got me is all these people writing letters. Oh, he said he went to court when he finally confessed, which it's when he found not let's not say confess finally told somebody because his girlfriend he had got him a little girlfriend so he started kicking with the girlfriend but the mama says something is off with him okay this dude pickle man was blowing up his cell phone he was blowing up her house phone like we were supposed to go to disneyland no 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 you was trying to get you know what like are you she was like what's going on so she told his mom like i'm taking him to a therapist but he still didn't say nothing to the therapist but then one day I think after this fool was trying to say he wanted to be on the Drake and Josh show and play his dad, that's when he told his mama about everything. So they went to the police, which his mama did do right by that. I'm a, 
you know, but she should have been 10 toes down. If you think you can replace the daddy because you and the daddy ain't together, then you should have been doing what the daddy was doing and not depending on some man you don't know, okay? So they recorded him. He, I guess he was confessing to it and it was like, are we being recorded? Or if you got to ask if you being recorded, then you probably being recorded, stupid, okay? Then they went to court, right? All these people was on his side and on Drake Bell's side, it was nothing but him, his mama, and brother because he didn't even have the heart to tell his daddy what had happened. You know, he didn't even have the heart to tell his daddy, which is, it's like, dang, because he probably like, I made a mistake, but you are a child. This was a grown man that should have knew better. All these actors, producers, all these people wrote letters talking about Drake was temp tempting him and he caved in. How does a 15-year-old child tempt you? And you're, I don't even know how old he was, 40-something? Are you serious? I was so disappointed. I think only one person was like, I was in the wrong. I'm sorry about that. Then this couple, see, they almost got Cody and Zach messed up on the Disney Channel. I am lying. Okay. After he got away with that, he only got 18 months. California, is you serious? Are you serious? 18 months for doing what he did to that child? And he had to register as an offender. Why they get him a job at Zach and Cody and Disney ran a background check and was like, oh no, oh no, sir, you got to get out of here. Like, why would you think it was okay for you to work with kids? Again, because you was telling lies, making it sound like he tempted you or whatever he was telling people because that's what the person said that she was sorry she ever wrote that letter. She was told lies and all that. So, and I'm just like, OMG. And this is before Drake and Josh got, I think, did they start filming or they hadn't started filming? And Dan did call him, Snyder, did call him and say, are you okay? What happened? A lot of the castmates, I think none of them knew that it was even Drake Bell. Like they didn't know who this had happened to because there was a meeting. There was big suit people in there. And they were like, who did he do? Like, who, who did this happen to? They didn't even know. I don't even think they found out till just now, like everybody else, that it was Drake Bell. But Dan Snyder did ask him if he was okay. Is there anything he needed? I'm like, yeah, you had to give him a show. It was because of you that this creepy man with the pickles even worked here. He put a pickle in the glory hole, which is inappropriate because kids don't know what glory holes are. And then you got everybody loves Raymond eating the damn pickle that he put through the glory hole. Are you serious? And talking about, mm, mm, mm. are you serious? Dan Snyder need his big ass whooped, okay? He ain't really as big as he was, but he still need his ass whooped, period. And I just, I feel so bad for him. And you know, Drake Bell has some allegations against him, or he really did get in trouble for it, for um, texting a minor. He did talk about that. And I'm like, okay, because I thought there was something going on with you and you was texting a minor. He got probation two years. He had to file bankruptcy. He had DUIs and then he went to rehab. So I think he's doing all right. But I guess people was coming for Josh because Josh made a little TikTok. Like if I ain't talked to you since 23 or whatever, I don't mess with you. And I guess he didn't invite Drake to his wedding and stuff. I said, listen here, don't try to be funny. And Drake made a uh, Drake bail made a post on TikTok that was like, don't come for him. Y'all is in his comments. He did call me. No, he was trying to be funny. Just because you lost a little weight and got on that Ozempic don't mean you start acting funny because it could have been you. It could have been you. You think everything's a damn joke. Ha ha ha. I ain't seen you do a show or a movie in years. Stop. Stop. Lost a little weight and think you somebody. Think you want to make a joke on TikTok that people came for your whole damn life. Quit playing. You had to call him. Drake, can you get these people off my back on TikTok? No, you thought you was funny. Blocking people in, they, in the comments because they talking shit to you. Well, you shouldn't have released that stupid TikTok. You shouldn't have thought it was funny because it wasn't. You should have watched it first before you had your mouth on. Look, my bun that came down. I'm talking so much shit. Okay. Let's talk about Jeanette, okay? My daughter loved her some Sam and Cat, baby. I love me some Jeanette, baby. She a real one, okay? What, what her book called? I need to read it. They said that book real good. 
I wish my mom would have died sooner or thank God my mama dead or something. Baby, I need to read that book, okay? And I guess in the book, she talked about Dan and how he was treating people rude, treating the people like crap. I said, what? Why were people, there was grown people on iCarly and Sam and Cat and all that. Y'all just let him do this to the kids, talk to y'all any kind of way, treat y'all any kind of way. I just don't understand it, okay? She said Dan was verbally abusive. Jeanette lost her mom at 17. She didn't even get a, she took a week off and was back at work. That girl should have took some time off. Ain't no way she should have been back at work because you wanted to make a show. And they said he got so many complaints on the, the set of Sam and Cat that he wasn't even allowed to be there anymore. He wasn't allowed to be on set because he had got so many complaints about his behavior. Him getting massages from women, like from the wardrobe women on set. Like, you got enough money. You can go to um, a massage parlor with a happy ending. You can do that, sir. Like, why are you having people that are, this ain't their job to give you a massage. This is not their job to give you a massage. You're supposed to be directing and producing and doing what you need to do. Why are you not doing that? I like me some Jeanette. She she didn't want to say his name, but she should have. She should have, but he might have sued her. But you know what? She should have said his name. She should have said his name. They were showing scenes from our iCarly, Zoe 101, Victorious. He was just inappropriate. And Nickelodeon had the, the nerve to give him a Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> Baby, I can't even make this up. I wonder if that's why Kale has so many issues. Like, you know, Kale ended up getting on, I think, drugs and all that stuff. Like, was it because he was a child star that he did work with Dan? But was Dan nice in the beginning? But once he got more power, more fame, more money, did he start acting a fool? You know what I'm saying? One thing we know he didn't do is get on the goddamn treadmill. That's one thing we know he did not do, okay? Let me think. Jason, baby, the P.A.? talking about telling the parents they can go with Jason y'all can go why are you not letting parents on set they supposed to be on set that's a rule Jason the PA now he ooh, child if it ain't Brian the pickle man it's Jason the PA they said Jason was very charming acting like a dude from Nebraska um he was supposed to be watching the children on set all this well one of these little girls Brandy we didn't get to see Brandy but we talked to Brandy's mama and she was saying like he was so nice she did a guest spot then they continued to email for a couple of weeks then this fool had the nerve to send her some nasty pictures and videos and she like cried slammed her door and her mama seen it she didn't say nothing this is why these people get away with it for so long she didn't say nothing she should have reported him immediately showed the authorities this was going on that he was doing this to a child sending her inappropriate pictures okay and they finally caught Jason. He had pictures, videos. He had a, girl, a girl's underwear in a bag. And they only sentenced him to six years. Six years. You know this is the goddamn 90s and early 2000s. Six years? Baby. How much did that Duggar boy get? Because they, they threw the book at him, I think. Six years for having child... Uh, baby. Are you serious? In a child's in a bag? Wow. Wow. Nickelodeon's out of control. They should have did background checks. I know we should have, could have, would have, but they should have did background checks. Dan was making the women writers um, split their salary and then was texting them, not texting them, not texting them because it was back in the day, sending a message through the computer, direct message, telling them to yell out stuff like slud and all this other stuff. What? Are you serious? One of the writers ended up suing him and she got some money. She didn't say how much she got. She didn't say how much she got, but people didn't want to mess, um, piss him off because they didn't know if they was going to work again. All that, he would threaten them with that. That's why Drake said he didn't want to tell on the pickle man because he thought he would never work again. I said, baby. Whoo. And they said Dan was showing on his computer, asking for massages. All that. Dan was very inappropriate with his big ass, okay? The black stars, the kids, said they was getting treated different. Raquel, uh, Leon, Giovanni, 
said they was getting the other guy, I can't remember his name, but they said they was getting treated different. The one boy said they kept making him put on leotards and stuff, and he didn't like it. He didn't like it. Had him put on a, a fake nose, put the noses on his arm, and they looked like you know what. Baby, I'm trying to use my words lightly so you two don't get me, okay? And he didn't like it. He said he was crying. He was crying because the suit was brown. Just inappropriate. Dan, I can't believe people didn't see this. I can't believe people didn't stand up to him, okay? And let's, boy, let's talk about Dan and Amanda. What you think today was going on with Dan and Amanda? What do you think was going on with Dan? He was too close to her. I feel bad for Katrina because she's the one that put Amanda on and then he cut her out the show because she started um, getting, you know, puberty and stuff. You know, so she started getting a little body, a little shape on her and they, because she don't look like a little girl no more, out, off with your head. Really? Baby, then they, you know, she said, check out this girl. It was Amanda Bynes. She was acting, doing the most. Amanda was supporting her parents, okay? And then Amanda started wanting to do different roles. She was like, shoot, I'm growing up. I'm 16. I want to do my own thing. I got me a little boyfriend. And then she ran away from her parents to Dan. Why are you running away to Dan's house? You ain't got no friends on set. Why are you running away to Dan's house? So she wanted to get emancipated, but her parents was not having it. They did not want to do that. Plus, you know, they wanted that money. Let's just keep it real. They wanted that money because that was before they made them start putting their money away so them kids would have their money once they got 18 and of age. So she, did, she ended up cutting ties with Dan, but Dan wanted Amanda to be his big break because, you know, he did the Amanda show, all that. That's me, baby. I was a Nickelodeon kid for real. And Amanda was going to be his big break to get out of the kids shows and stuff, but that did not happen because her family basically cut ties and she started doing all them other movies, okay? Amanda, I know Amanda got some money. I know she do. You know what? It makes me feel... I, when I first seen Amanda and she was acting crazy, I was like, man, why is she acting like this? But then after you watch this, you'd be like, you know what? Give her some grace. This is probably the first time in her life that she gets to choose what she want to do versus somebody telling her what to do, how to act, how to be. Now she can just be herself, do whatever she want to do. Like for real, because it seems like she's been going since she was like, what? five young age just going 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 and this is the first time she gets to be like i get to choose i get to choose what i want to do and she's in her 30s you know what i'm saying she finally gets to choose what she want to do what amanda feels without people trying to tell her when her family was trying to say she's crazy she can't handle her money stop stop because y'all want to live off of her money just like britney spears daddy and jamie lynn was living off of britney spears money Okay, let's keep it real because you know J Jamie Lynn ain't really did nothing for real. Uh, shoot, living off of Britney's money, baby. Mm, mm, mm. They said Dan was real touchy with Amanda. Real touchy feely. Real, I don't understand how he was in TV so long that he could do all that, then do the Amanda show, and then all of a sudden do Victoria's, all these big shows, I Carly, all this stuff. <sighs> The things people let people get away with just to be famous. Just to be famous, the stuff people let people get away with. Eventually, in 2000, no, 2018, the Me Too movement was happening and people started reporting him. They started reporting Dan and that's how this happened. That's how he's not involved with Nickelodeon anymore. They cut ties in 2018. And he said that it was like, they didn't just put him out. It was mutual. Sir, they put you out. Every statement they had, Dan said, this ain't true, blah, blah, blah. No, they put you out, sir. Nickelodeon ended up giving him $7 million. See you later, bye. Thank you for what you did. And people said the sets were so much nicer, not as much tension, energy, you know, just people scared. People were scared of him. One time he walked up on Jeanette, literally scared. I mean, that girl's soul came out her body and came back in her body. He scared her so tough. Why are people scared of you, bro? Why? You big. All they got to do is run away. Jesus. <coughs> Overworked kids, disgusting uh, skits. Dan was racist. Let's call what it what it is because he treated the black kids different. Let's call what it is. 
But you know what? That boy's mama wasn't playing. That's why he only got two seasons of all that because his mama was not playing with Dan. He was heartbroken that he didn't get to act no more and all that. But his mama stood on business. And I respect her for that. She stood on business. That dare show they was doing was very um, weird, very creepy. I can't believe we was watching this. Like, ah, oh my God. Da, da, da. Not knowing that really these kids was really getting tortured. These kids was getting tortured. That It was traumatizing. Then he was not letting the editors pee and um, take food breaks. They needed to edit the show. One woman said she literally passed out and was like, I'll be back as they was taking her to the hospital. But you can pee and eat because you ain't missed a meal, Dan. You can pee and eat, but everybody else can't? Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. And then poor Virgil, he lost his job. But you know what? Virgil was for them kids, but Dan fired him. And they think it's because Virgil was standing up to him, not letting him do whatever he wanted to do around them kids and treating people any kind of way. And how he do that to Raquel? Couldn't even have a big cake on her birthday. Talking about she don't need that big cake. Sir, you just want to eat it. Oh, I can't stand no Dan. I hope he don't ever, I don't think he ever will work in TV anymore. But baby, whoo, these kids need our prayers, okay? These kids need our prayers. And Josh better quit acting like that with Drake for he uh, catch, baby. People ain't playing with him on TikTok. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if you watch it. Tell me what you think. I probably missed some things, but it was a lot of information. I was, baby, I was sitting there like, I was yelling at the TV. I was upset for Drake Bell's daddy. Like, damn it. Damn it, damn it. Because he thought it wasn't his son. He was like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He thought it wasn't his son, and it was his son. But, mm. y'all just... Go watch it if you ain't watched it, baby. Oh, my God. You know what? Don't because it's a little traumatizing. So I wouldn't recommend it if you've been through that in your life. I would not watch it because it is it is traumatizing. I've never been through it. I grew up with a parent that it happened to her at a young age. Uh, a teenager also. Baby, I wouldn't watch it if I, you know, been through that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see y'all in the next video. I am watching The Apples Never Fall, The Never Fail. It's on Peacock and the mama done went missing or something. So I'm watching that right now. So that might be the next review. Bye y'all.